Joining me in the studio now is Del Reed, founder of 26 Shirts. Del, thank you so much for coming in and stopping by. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Now, we have some exciting news. You guys now have a new store that can, people can easily come up and walk into right in Kenmore, right? Yeah, we're really excited. We moved from TriMain Center, where we've been since our inception. Um, and they, they were great to us. You know, it was a great place as our business grew, but we kind of outgrew what they were able to provide us. And so now we're at 2205 Kenmore Avenue, right next to the Charter School for Applied Technologies. And it's great. Customers, like you said, can pull right up to the door and walk in. They don't have to go through three different floors and try to find us. So it's, it's, it's great. Now, what other new things can viewers and your customers expect when they go into your new location? Yeah, so we have different specials. We'll be announcing one later today or tomorrow, just leading up to Easter and everything. Uh, I don't want to give away. I don't want to give away too you much. You don't want to give away no. a little scoop, a yeah. daytime buffalo scoop. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually, because um, Andrew Baglini, who is uh, a former Channel Four yeah. employee, our marketing and business director, I think he's still fine tuning it. So I don't want to. I don't want to speak too much of it. But, okay. um, but yes, come on in and visit us and check out what we have going on. We have a fun little Easter promotion. That'll be really exciting. Uh, what uh, this was a big move. Now you talked about it a little bit. So basically, it was just kind of you kind of outgrew the space, need something bigger, and really wanted more accessibility. Is that right? Yeah. It's it's, well, it's, we needed more everything because our entire operation is at 2205 Kemmore Avenue. The entire operation was at TriMain before. So you'll walk in and we have a little showroom and that's what it is. It's a room, mm -hmm. um, but it's enough for, you know, the, the amount of traffic that we get, it's, it's fine. Um, but we, now we have a big warehouse that we're able to store a bunch of our inventory and we have a, a more office space so we can actually, we have room when we hire new employees to actually put them somewhere. You know? so we're, <laughs> yeah. we were at full capacity before, so it's nice. We have a little bit more room just to, to breathe and, and live and, and do our thing a little more, bit more comfortably. Now, you're not new to Channel 4, but you are new to Daytime Buffalo. Mm -hmm. So just to give our viewers some backstory for them don't, that don't know, why did you originally start 26 Shirts? Yeah, so as, as some people know, I'm one of the co-founders of the Bills Mafia movement back in 2011. Uh, we found ourselves with this growing social media audience. And, uh, you know, Uncle Ben always told Peter Parker, I'm a big comic book nerd, <laughs> that with great power comes great responsibility. So with a a big audience that continued to grow on social media came a big responsibility and we really wanted to do something productive with it and a couple years into it I had the idea to sell t-shirts for a year it was only gonna be a one-year project uh, one shirt every two weeks for a year 52 divided by 2 is 26 that's where the weird name comes from and uh, it just you know it, there was an appetite for it you know people wanted to keep buying the shirts there was a need for it people kept asking for help for those that don't know every shirt we sell a portion goes back to a local family or a nonprofit in the area, and um, we just there were, you know there was room to grow, and so we continued on, and then it just now it's like almost ten years later, and we're, <laughs> we're still here and slinging t-shirts. You t -shirts. would have thought it was only going to be a year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh it's fine. It's a great pivot that I didn't expect in you know life to take, but it's been you know worth every moment. I always say that I'm so jealous of you guys. You have the cool job where you can just come in in t-shirts and hoodies, and that's part of the job. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, that's, that really is part of the job, right? You know, if people walk in the office, I want you know them to see our employees like wearing our stuff. But at the same time, it's really like wear whatever you're more comfortable in. You know, if you want to wear a suit and tie, by all means. If you work for us, wear a suit and tie. But oddly enough, most people want shorts and jeans and a a t-shirt or whatever. It's so strange. People <laughs> want to be comfortable. Yeah, is that weird? <laughs> Isn't that, that weird? weird? Well, you've been doing so many amazing things for the community for so many years now. So thank you for what you do. Do you have any teasers or anything we can expect? Any events coming up? Well, it, one thing I just want to address real quickly is I get a lot of credit for other people's generosity. I have, you know, everything we put out on the internet, if people don't buy it, if they don't believe in our mission, then nothing happens. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got a great creative staff that works with me. You know, most of the ideas that come up these days aren't mine, but it you know came from within our walls. So uh, I just got to give credit where credit is due. But in terms of stuff we have going on, just like I mentioned, the Easter promotion that we'll be pushing live later today or tomorrow, uh, come on into our store, visit us. We're really proud of the you know the, our new space. Well, if you ask for it, we'll give you a tour of the office and the warehouse and everything. Um, we're just really excited. Okay, well, con congratulations on the new move. I hope you guys are nice and comfy in there and getting yep, settled. If you guys want to check out 26 Shirts at their new location, you can head over to 2205 Kenmore Avenue or go to their website, 26shirts.com. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks again for having me. I appreciate it. Jamie, tell me a little bit about Power Yoga and how you got started. 
So I got started um, when I was in my late 20s. I went to my first yoga class kicking and screaming. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do yoga. I want something that's harder than that. This is not going to be challenging. What a waste of my time. And I admired the person that kept prompting me to go so much that I was like, all right, I'll go try it. And that first class, the teacher cleaned the floor with me. I was like, I thought I was pretty physically fit. and. Uh, <laughs> It was brutal, um, but I felt like I wasn't good at it, and I left there feeling so calm and just really different than how I walked in. Mm -hmm. So I started practicing yoga, and then fast forward a little bit, had twins, decided I didn't want to go back to my career in medicine, and opened a yoga studio when they were six months old. Now, um, you guys are really, you t touched on it, but you kick people's butts. This isn't a <laughs> yoga class where you're gonna lay down and do your mmms and, and just kind of possibly fall asleep. No, you're gonna yeah. work. Can yeah. you tell me about how the classes work here? Yeah, so um, actually yoga, I think a little mistakenly is, has uh, uh, a lot of judgment. Mm -hmm. about what it's going to be, what the expectation are, and obviously there's lots of different styles of yoga. The yoga that we practice is power yoga, um, and it's a faster pace. We involve a lot of inversions, arm balances, long holds, um, and really emphasize breath work. And the key to that, along with all styles of yoga, is to really get you in touch with your nervous system. Fight or flight cueing, um, bringing you into and out of fight or flight when to recognize like you've escalated and how to really prompt vagal nerve tone to bring yourself back to rest and calm. And so you'll find each of our classes is very high paced in the beginning. We go through a series of flow and holds and things like that. And then in the end, it's very much stretching, relaxing, heart opening, we call it. Um, and, you know, ends with like a meditative state, Shavasana. So but it's everything all in one. At the end, you one. get what yeah, you're looking end, for, but you're gonna, we gotta work for it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yoga's meant to be physical fitness. So mm -hmm. um, I think that's the key that, that often kind of goes unrecognized. And this is, you know, your whole body will be working. And th your classes are actually hot, right? How hot is the temperature in the classrooms? So our studios are heated to 90 degrees. Um, the humidity is anywhere between 30 and 50%. Um, and that's both for obviously a little bit of challenge and to improve flexibility and warm people up, especially with the cold weather. Absolutely. What do you want people to feel when they come and take one of your classes? First, I want them to feel like they are welcome like no matter what you're doing where you are what you look like what you're wearing um, where you live what you have any of that every single person is welcome here there's no judgment and you can do it like i think the biggest thing anytime you go somewhere new is you're scared like you don't know anybody there it's hard you don't know what you're doing and this community is the most generous community ever that I've ever encountered in my whole life. The teachers, the students, um, so everyone's welcome. And then, you know, we want you to leave feeling accomplished, like just the nerve to come in here and take a class, like that's all you need and you just keep showing up and your whole mind and body and spirit and way of being change. Now, you don't have just this one location, you have multiples, which is an incredible accomplishment. Tell me about how many locations you have and, and what made you decide to open more. Uh, I don't know actually what I was thinking after I opened the first <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, actually, it kind of fell into our lap. So the second studio is in Elmwood Village across from Spot Coffee. And it honestly was such a charming old mansion on Elmwood. And the, the location was so beautiful when they approached me and said, hey, we have this opening up, do you, would you wanna do it? And I was like, my gut was like, no, I have like babies at home. Um, <laughs> but you know, we gave in and really, it just speaks to the community again. Like if it were just me, I wouldn't have done it, but the teachers here um, and the, the students and everybody that is involved with Power Yoga Buffalo are the best people on earth. Like for <laughs> real, like I couldn't have done it without them. What do you want people to feel as they walk in if this is their first time? What advice do you have for them? Um, bring a, a mat if you have one. If not, we rent them. Um, bring water, bring a towel. Um, 
It does help actually to wear pants, believe it or not, especially for women, just because you sweat and it'll absorb a lot of the moisture. Um, let the teachers know that you're new and um, put yourself kind of in the back of the room so you can look around, you know, go at your own pace, uh, rest when you need to, um, and ask questions. For more information for any of our viewers that are so excited and would like to give Power Yoga a try, how can they find you and sign up for a class? So we are at PowerYogaBuffalo.com. Uh, we also have our own app, Power Yoga Buffalo, at the App Store. Uh, we're on Instagram, Power Yoga Buffalo, Facebook, same. I think that's it. You can find us at all of those places. Um, ask questions. We answer to all of those sites. And info at PowerYogaBuffalo.com is the email. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. So to come on Daytime Buffalo, we take a look at some of the incredible pieces from Fancy Jewelry. Don't go anywhere. That's coming out after the break.